Tour from Motown and historic Kobo Arena. It's men's international volleyball, the United States hosting Japan. Hello again, everyone, and welcome. I'm Paul Sunderland. It was just four short months ago that the United States men's national team was in a black hole. They had just gone 0-12 in the prestigious World League. The coaches were threatened with losing their jobs. The team was full of dissension. Sound pretty bad? Fast forward four months. Two great players come back from previous Olympic Games. A couple of players join the team out of college. And surprisingly, they win the bronze medal at the World Championships recently in Greece. How good are they now? We're about to find out. Very happy to have working with me all-time great Kurt Kilgore. All right. Was Greece a mistake, a surprise, or is this team really back on track? Well, I think you'd have to say it was a surprise, Paul. You didn't know they'd do as well as they did. You bring back Scott Fortune. You bring back Bob Stavert, like Jeff Nygaard comes in from UCLA. Boy Ball comes in. They're for real, and I think if they keep improving, they're going to be a force for Atlanta. All right. Now talk about improving. The Japanese team has been great through the years, but over the last couple of decades, they have really, really struggled. Why can't this team, with so much great history, compete in the 80s and 90s? Well, great history is no understatement. This team invented the modern game of volleyball. A lot of speed, a lot of sets, players moving all over the court. The trouble is, the other players in the country got big. The Japanese did not. They lost some of their drive. They're just not the team they were back then. They need to find some big, young players. And speaking of drive, Bob Stavertlik came back to the United States team along with Scott Fortune. But the big talk in Greece was the new young setter for the United States right out of the University of Indiana, Purdue, at Fort Wayne, Loy Ball. Well, Loy Ball broke his hand before the NCAA finals. It set him back a little bit. 680, moving the ball around. He blocks like crazy. Gets up there, stuffs balls, scores a lot of points in the net, and that's what the U.S. team needed. He will be a great player, I predict, in, in the future. A great player now, indeed, at the controls for the United States. Now for Japan. What they need is another great stud to build their team around, and maybe they found that in Yuichi Nakagaichi when he's healthy. Well, they do need some studs, and Yuichi Nagagaichi is a throwback player. Reminds me of their coach, Seiji Oko. He's big, he's strong, he jumps high. He's about 80% of their offense. He gets up and pounds time and time again. Paul, he is a force. All right, a force indeed. A couple of great teams with a lot of tradition, tradition and rivalry coming up for you right here on Prime International Volleyball. The United States versus Japan will be back with first serve. Tonight's Stars and Spikes Tour match is brought to you by Champion, proud to be the official outfitter of the 1996 The Great Masters. They defined civilization in Europe for centuries. Now we're defining civilization on the way there. United Airlines renowned international service to 15 cities all across Europe. Come fly the airline that's uniting the world. Come fly our friendly skies. Oh, arena, United States versus Japan getting ready for first serve. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for the guests from Japan at an outside hitter, Hideaki Kobayashi. Number 12, Tashi Sasaki, also at an outside hitter. Hideyuki Otake in the middle with Masayuki Izumikawa. Yuichi Nakagaichi, watch him. He's going to get a million sets. And at the setting position, Akihiko Matsuda. They are coached by all-time great Seiji Oko. Won a gold medal in the 1972 Olympic Games. And a bronze, I should say a silver medal in the 1968 Olympics. And he will get the Japanese team. 